Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Coach Andres, and thank you for tuning in, ladies. Today, we're going to talk about a very cool two-part topic, two-part video. But first, I just want to say thank you all for all your support. Honestly, I appreciate all your viewership, all your comments. Um, I'm having a blast doing the videos. I love being a coach. Uh, again, everything I always talk about and everything I coach, I respectfully say is not easy. I'm not ever trying to coach easy trying to find the, the more pure source of what's best for you. You know, what's the healthiest form of love? What's the healthiest form of finding love? And I always say this because, you know, I've been helped. I've been coached. And I, I also say this because, you know, even if you look at my website, coachingwithundress.com, you know, I've, I've had a quite an interesting traumatic experience not too long ago where, long story short, injury, and I was, as crazy as it sounds, was paralyzed from the neck down. So... Uh, they got them independent. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But I also just see things now more than ever with just the level of being helped and having that blessing to heal. I want to help you all to understand what's the best way to date. What's the best way to love someone? Because that's what the ultimate goal in life is. As much as it is about success and, you know, nice things and all those cool things. But at the end of the day, it's all about energy and love. That's all we're really here for. So I want to make sure you're informed about the healthiest way to do that. But we gotta have fun doing that because the, the topic is so serious, we don't have to be so dramatic. No, I like to have fun. I like to be informative. I like to be entertaining. I like to make sure you understand that we can be um, playful about it. And we have to be you know, productive with it though. We have to be honest with ourselves. We're gonna talk about six things on how to make him chase you forever. Not just for one date, not just to the bedroom, I don't know why I'm whispering forever, but it just sounds right. Because you want him to chase you forever for that long-term relationship. That being said, before I get started, I really appreciate your subscription. Make sure you hit that bell so you're notified for future videos. And let's begin. You hit the like button if you like it. Go ahead. And if you dislike it, you let me know why. But let's find out if you like it first. Let's go number one. But before we go to number one, how I tell my clients and what they always notice about my coaching style, is that I don't bullshit them. Excuse my French, I don't bullshit them. There's no BS here. I don't do games. I don't do manipulation. I don't do lies. I don't do suspicious behavior. I don't do jealous, childish, insecure moves and actions. I'm all about self-development, self-love, self-focus, self-growth, self-awareness. How to entune yourself the best way you can to create the most truthful, pure, sacred, highest value of who you are. And the highest point of keeping your attraction and value, self-respect, integrity, and dignity as high as possible. Because the higher you go, the higher your pedestal. The higher your pedestal, the more they want to chase you. Us men love to chase. We love the challenge. We love that. So let's keep that high with number one. Creating healthy desires. Creating healthy desires in a wave way. And what does that mean? Healthy desires waves. Oh, desires of waves, 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 currency, right? Who we are is people energy. As in, you are so in tuned and present when you guys are in a romantic date and you are all in, phone is turned off and you're so engaged. But the next day you have obligations and priorities where you're so focused on your friends, your work, your health, your family, your goals, and you almost create a wave difference of desire. We're like, holy shit. She was so romantic, so involved, so amazing last night. We had an amazing sex. And today, I only heard from her once because she's that busy and so in tune. She's so focused on her goals. She's so focused on you know, passing that exam or getting that promotion or starting that business. Or she's such an amazing daughter still to her mom who needs her help or a sister to her sister's you know, engagement party. That desire of waves, that healthy desire of waves in life, because those things are going to happen in our lives. And that's why it's all about forever. Understanding, respecting what's all around your world, not making him your world. But when you are with him, you're with him. All in. Phones off, ladies. But when you're not with him, you are present and engaged to what you're doing. That creates a chase from him because he just loves and admires of anything inspired that you're so present and in tune with what you're doing. You're giving everyone your full attention. And you have so many more priorities, so many more things to focus on outside of him. Not disrespecting him, but just because you need to keep your value high. He's going to chase you 
forever. Number two, those desire waves, healthy desire waves that we're surfing through, right? You're all in and when you're not there, you want him missing you. Missing you is healthy. When someone misses someone, that's very healthy. It's a beautiful thing. Number two is challenging yourself. Number two is challenging yourself and rewarding yourself. So while you're not with him and you are focused on your what you're doing, your priorities, your goals, your intentions, your obligations, your, your desires, increasing your values. So I always say to my clients, you got three stocks. How do we make your great to greater? How do we make your good to great? And how do we make your bad to good? Mentally, physically, sexually, financially, emotionally, and spiritually, all of them. And it's, 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 it's forever. That's what the whole point is. I want you to be chasing that forever. So he always has to chase you to keep up with you. You inspire him. You motivate him. I want him to admire you, not just love you. So you must challenge yourself and reward yourself which is my other metaphor or my other analogy that I always say, it's like an image that I always describe to my clients. You have your base of who you are, everything you're about, everything that's important to you, and then you must challenge that base as often as possible. Not to perfection, to progress. And after you challenge your base, I want you to reward yourself because you did that. I don't care if it's one step or 10 steps. I don't care if it's one pound or 100 pounds. I don't care if it's $1 or $10. Reward yourself because you, you did something. And then now when you go back to your base, that base grows. And when that base grows, you become more attractive. You become more valuable. You become sexier. Men chase that. They love that. And you keep on going around and around and around. Challenge yourself. Reward yourself. So what do you think number three is? But before we go to number three, I have to talk about my brand new product, How to Love a Man, which is at coachingwithundress.com and has all these tools, plus even more Q's and A's, A to Z guidelines, quizzes and assignments. Yes, you heard me right, ladies. Quizzes and assignments, but there are no grades. Just effort. Just the appreciation apple to the table and you get an A. But just try it out. Let me know what you all think. How to Love a Man. Number three, challenge yourself, reward yourself. Number three, you better preach what you talk, talk what you walk, all that stuff. Challenge him. Challenge him and reward him. Challenge him, reward him in any way, small, big, casual, sexual. I don't care. I, I, I don't. There is no wrong way. Challenge him. But make it playful, not threatening. Make it fun, not dramatic. Make it sexy, not professional. Challenge him. Let's see what he's got. Men love to get challenged, especially in the sports world with our muscles and height and you know how much money you make and how many cars you have and who cares this. We love the challenge because we have egos. We have to make sure you find the man with the right healthy ego who's emotionally mature, but any man with an emotional maturity or not loves to be challenged. So when you challenge and reward yourself, Challenge him and reward him, regardless of the result. Progress, not perfection. That being said, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. I have part two coming out right now, so make sure you stay in tuned for part two. Again, check out coachingwithundress.com if you're interested in any coaching. See you soon.